up and heave in. Just completely, utterly in awe here. That is a complete scandal. That is right out of this world. Talking about not holding back there, Joey. Six, three. Right on cue. It's becoming a bit of a mainstay shot here for Declan James. Off the bat wall. He really enjoys taking a lot of players on. Coming from the uh, central referee. Good. And out, 6-10. Game ball. Well, that's beautiful from James. 11-6, going to James. James leads, one game to love. Ali Fati is starting uh, to look a little bit at sea out there, Joey, in some rough seas slowly because this there is... There you uh, go. Yep. Right on cue, sir. Four love. Off the bat wall, using that steep swing, open racket face. Thank you for coming. And he's buzzing around. Wow. It's good line of length. There's the outright winner. So a shout from the Egyptian. Front court line to go to. It's, his, it's becoming a real safety zone. Great kill. Just manages to pull it up. Oh, look at that. That's a wonderful oh. finish. Oh. Well, James. that is a way to finish James it off from Declan James. James. And there it is, the go-to shot. Declan James has been able to just lock that ball in tight to the backhand front corner. And the more he does it. So I uh, just having a conversation with the uh, squash extra side with Dan Dobby. Seven three. Whilst you've been doing that, Declan James has been getting busy. He has, he responds and the Hornet must be. Good squeeze. That's a sign of the times for Declan James. Just far too accurate and solid. Needed to respond in that second, which was crucial. So the Dark Knight starts to push on here in Qatar. Puts his place in the last 16. Oh, that's a fantastic cross-court volley off the back end. It is somewhat slightly unorthodox technique of, uh, yeah. Yeah, when he played at St. George's Hill, though, Johnny, particularly against Surab Gosal, it was ridiculous. It was like the Guadavol. I mean, it was unreal, uh, the first game he played. But he's uh, going to have to up himself here because... Looking pretty fearless out there, Yao. And that's, again, another head nod. So Yao is getting stuck in here. Well oh, that's pretty fair there from Gawad. Well, very fair. But a great first game from Yao. Managed to hold off Gawad, which is... Steep learning curve for him. Go out calling that straight away. Oh, what touch there. That's both of them. Oh, that's a fantastic oh, oh, wow. finish. This is incredible. <laughs> what a shot. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Moy. Me, even. 
He was walking backwards as he hit this. If you see here, he just keeps continuing to sort of walk through the shot, which is what... Trouble. Oh, what a cracker. He's done it like... That was like a forward it was, defensive. It was absolutely a defensive block. It was brilliant. Cricket. Watch this. Front foot forward. <laughs> Pass. Game ball once again for Yao. I don't know how that went straight. Oh, he's picking up everything, Joey. He's, it's more oh, control. there's the pressure. So Gawad has got to get his uh, teeth into this because this young Malaysian is starting to evolve within this match. I tell you, this was very, very impressive attitude from Yao. And I like to see the emotion from him as well. Reading a little bit about Boy Wonder. S skilled in acrobats and, and an aerialist. Here goes Karim Abdul Gabbard, though. Well, this is the amazing draw from Gawad. This is a snap back to reality for the Malaysian. I don't want to think it's all too easy, this uh, crusade to the top of the world rankings. He's. Uh, now on the back end of us, some very, very wonderful array of front court play from uh, Gawa. Well, Gawa's starting to get into his groove now. Also flowing about the court. Oh, go. yeah, that was left open there, the clever option. Slightly loose from Yao and being sucked into that front. And oh. What Gawad has successfully done, seemingly, is taken that little bit of sting out of Yao. He's forcing him into more defensive play. And Yao's getting, like there, Yao's getting far less time or positioning to use his boy wonder speed around the front and he's got some nice deception but he's just been shut down See here in this fourth game that something's going to change in the fifth the past history of Gawad suggests that he will just continue to motor on like this as he takes the fourth game well Kareem Abdul Gawad takes this into a fifth Abdul Gawad just, just gradually but surely turned it around made sure his ship was sailing in the right direction here in Qatar out on the uh, Persian Gulf what? His ship. His cruise ship would be a very. If Gawad if Gaw had a ship, it would definitely be a cruise ship where you'd be very relaxed. Oh, that was. I, I wanted to say boast just before he hit it because when he does the wind up like that. But it's a uh, late match flurry here from Yao. Unfortunately, he's left it all a bit too late, I would say. And uh, there it is. Gawad converts with a one of his trademark lines. Perfectly hits. Well, Kareem Abdul Gawad does what he's done so many times on the World Tour. Back from two games to love to win in five to book his place in the last 16. Brilliant from Pilly. He's his power line hitting has just uh, had a, a lot of venom on it so far, and it's just knocking Castanier a little bit off balance. And then that that finishing quality at the front as he steamed in. Oh, that is incredible there from Pilly. He's just that was so last second. Try not to be too biased, Johnny. Have a look at this. We get a replay of it. Just forget the uh, green and gold. You've got to be neutral here, Johnny. That well, is a great I mean, shot. No, it's a great give shot. Give it a rest. Slight miss it there, but it st stayed on the wall. Very lucky there for Pilly. Oh, 
that's incredible from the uh, French warrior. And slightly off balance as he charged after this boast from Pilly. He didn't read it at first, but enough dynamic movement to just... Johnny a ripper of a first game. That's the importance of it for both these guys, are killing each other. Good hands. Oh, oh Pilly frustration there. So Castanier manages to grab the first. Uh, the veteran battle, 25 minutes, not letting up at all, these two. <laughs> uh, it's, it's exciting and spectacular, but uh, it's not winning points. Castanier mopping up here nicely as Pilly just seems to be pressing towards the five minute first game. And now we're looking at eight game balls for the immaculate Musketeer. Oh, John, I think this is the first match where there's been a slight drop in energy from you. <laughs> that's just, that's just Castanier of old for me. Kit Pilly has thundered this drive down the wall. Six, check it. Three. Check out this strength. Watch. That is just typical Castanier. Oh, big hotel hub and financial hub now, Qatar. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, Pilly was absolutely heaving there. You could. Well, it's a great shot. Good battle there. Very impressive first game. And then Pilly really trying to make a last stand. Pilly happy to be on there playing at this level. You can tell that. But Castanier is battling so hard to get back up the rankings. And these uh, valuable points will so help him. Three love victory into the last 16. work here for making a bit fortunate there but he's keeping Rodriguez behind him himself permanently now in, in well he's always been based in, in Birmingham but so cementing his roots putting down his roots in Solihull gateway to the West Midlands or Solihull as it's called by the Another error off the racket of Rodriguez, and it's making. Clever. It's a good line from there. He was in the air. Oh, this is a brilliant rally by Macon. Yeah, that was well played. I like the solid lack of panic there from the Honey Badger. And Not really a Honey Badger, but uh, that's for I'd sure. More of a, he's quite teddy bear-esque, but. You're not exactly gonna come onto court and send shot waves around the world if you're introduced as a teddy bear. <laughs> and up, seven. Absolute amount of eye fade for me. <laughs> but as long as you keep shouting, that'll keep everyone going. Do you want to shout squash? Yeah, just because he had a brain fade, that could be a stroke, so though. To Rodriguez. No review for Macon. He's got to improve, I feel. If he takes it in, he's just got to be able to follow up a little bit better, and that's a bit leisurely there. 
and he's paid the price. So just a drop in concentration here from Macon. Four, two. And when you're talking about trying to beat the world number six, six. both players with their heart rate in the high 180s. Also, oh, feel that's brilliant. Up. It's really brilliant. Squash. Nice follow up. You can hear the string singing, really chopping the ball in two. Left, please. Watch the open racket face there. And that again, you see it's a lovely angle. Just see the fingers threading through the ball. Making is the one that's got that more calculated structure. There, for me, the straight drop to go in. Johnny Bond. I yeah. mean, obviously, yeah. you know, it's we're talking very small little tweaks. I mean, he's probably say well actually we don't really need to tweak anything because he's just now taken the third game but seven, to even widen his chances two, against okay, Rodriguez I'd like to one. see a few few more straight drops go ironic who FIFA the goal line technology oh nice you missed that Johnny yeah it's unlike you lost your focus Ooh, uh, just I'll tell you who's lost his focus, it's well Joel Macon. Yeah, but that's the first one. That's the first Seven real one we've seen. Wow. There was a, obviously an un a guess the rally previously and, and this, so a bit of mental fatigue. Look, just having a bit of a giggle at the clock, seeing it's 45 minutes left until the next match, Joey. So they've, these two, have, that's not up. So they're eating away at our lunch break here. And out, 10 all, a player must win by two points. East Leah has one review available. Brilliant from Rodriguez. Yeah, well played. That was really well played. What a battle. I knew it was going to be match of the day, and it's certainly surpassing that. Rodriguez, very slick at the end, waiting for that last one. Joey, did you see that? My goodness, he was lying down. <laughs> Unbelievable reflexes. Well, I'm trying to adjust my eyes to that. That was just a flash of colour. Slipped oh. over. Have a look at that. Oh no. And that's just <laughs> how does that? I mean that's unbelievable. Being proactive though again, making he's just taking balls in and Rodriguez is just nullifying and just hitting everything to the back, but not taking any. There it is, you're right. You're right spot on Joey Barrington. You're right on the mark. The guy who takes his chance is paid back handsomely because he's got a match ball to move into the last 16. Earned and some hit by Joel yeah. Makin and the reverse boast. Rodriguez looks Very up, nine. he can't believe it. Nice to make him. Joel Makin has two. turned over another top, top Seven player. Well, oh, the Welsh White Tiger. Ladies Gonna and go and have to eat some Frosties and get some uh, carbohydrates in after today. that. Miguel Goodness Angel me. Rodriguez. 106 winner, minute marathon, it was Joel on the cards. Makin. Quality of it was superb. Fully agree. Joey, I think that Will Strop knows that uh, he also, you know, he doesn't have a lot of tournaments oh, left in him on the PSA Tour. I don't think he's going to play for another five years, so. That's, yeah, that's, you'd be disappointed though. Will Strop's just applying that pressure. <laughs> That's clever there from Wilstrop. Soaked up the interference Game just off. seeing that Game ball. once he'd extricated himself away from uh, Max Lee, that Max Lee would be badly placed. And uh, a little flip cross-court drop from Wilstrop is Game one of the best six. exponents of that in the Game business. Game. Tidies up the back end of that game nicely. So, Johnny, it was a very good opening. Had to be a good response from Lee. Beginning of the second. He's playing with a lot more bite now, though, Lee. Seven, three. He was a bit sleepy in the first game. It just seemed a little... Not so critical right now as Max Lee has uh, opened up a big lead in this game. That's lovely. Again, the Dragon, I said this with 
Yep, Sleeping Dragon. Max Lee has woken up in this second game. Cool. Uh, Johnny. The, the last one I played there was about 98, around there. Yeah. It was a bit of a circuit, wasn't there? Hong Kong, Singapore. Well, good work, extending the court. The marksman using his full reach on that ball. <laughs> he needed every bit of his six foot four. Well, Max Lee up to 200, maximum heart rate. Oh, wow. Oh, goodness, another pickup, the same one as before. Oh, my word. Please stand up and applaud <laughs> the skill of James Wilstrop. Take a bow. Take a bow. On core, on core. Look at this. Is his hand cramping because he's hurting here, Wilstrop. That was a monumental rally. Uh, he's obviously had a bit of a. Maybe a knock on the floor with his hand. <laughs> it's like drop. It's not really affecting his drop, so Johnny, is oh, it? Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, we'll see you later. <laughs> on your way. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> Good night and God bless. Mr. Barrington, do you think that Will Strop had to spend a few too many petrol tickets at the end of that game so that he'll have to... He may not be able to bring the intensity, and Lee looks like he's coming out at the same pace there across the middle very quick. Oh. I see a bit of a uh, shootout in Qatar coming here as we head towards the last part of this game. There's that boast. That accuracy from the back there, I mean, that is Ronnie O'Sullivan-like. <laughs> Yeah, that was uh, beautifully crest from Will Strop. Oh, goodness, Joey. Got it back, though. Oh. Oh, he's... Oh, this could be trouble. He's angled that oh, he's in beautifully. He managed to just close it out for Lee. Chucking his racket, yeah, trying to get the ball. <laughs> That was a, a very exciting finale. What a masterclass of front court work. Wilstrop clearly not wanting, to, being able to move as well as he would like. And he makes up for it for all his experience in class. 3-1 victory over a very dangerous Max Lee. Yeah, I thought there was a, another Amigo. I think he was the third Amigo. That's the three Amigos. Great film. If anybody hasn't seen it, probably a lot of millennials that haven't seen it. Get into those 80s films. Miller's just got to find a way to stop being second to the punch, but it's so hard when you're just getting sent to all parts of the court. Your opponent is onto the ball in a flash. So much venom and everything he's doing here, the Viper. Immaculate. Just a perfect game of squash there from Tarek Moman. Yeah, this is impressive for a moment. Good focus and concentration. No. Too loose for Nicky Miller. The idea was okay. Straightening up nicely. Brutal boast. Brutal boast. And Even though Miller's lob. Any error? Right now is that is uh, absolutely lethal. In Miller's cause, he's had to do so much just to hold off everything that's been thrown at him. Now with an error and then a loose ball, big trouble, huge trouble. Yep. Just for uh, showing off there, Tarek Moment. Yeah, and there it is. Miller's. Uh, a lot of sound going to Moment. Did so much. The persistence in just firing the ball in short with incredible fine margins was going to suddenly come to a halt. Miller had to deal with an awkward bounce here, and that's very unlucky, really. Very unlucky. And out, seven all. Because uh, Moment's just gone off the boil and then. Got it. Game. Now it was one forehand, one backhand. Where can he not do it, Joey? 
Yeah, it's all about Tarek Moment. Inevitably knocked a few on the team, and now Tarek Moment. Three match balls. Oh, Tarek Moment. Carrying on his form that he's produced. Ladies and gentlemen, in eight hands for Nicholas Hill. George's Fuller. Hill coming to Qatar. And 28 winner, minutes. Tarek Demolition Moment. of the rocket. Three games to love. It's very, very speedy feet there to just put a bit of extra zip into the front corner. <laughs> Saw the. Uh, Attempted lunge, but the roll drop from Gosa. We'll get a good look at it here. He's just sort of actually uh, cut it a little bit over the other side. So delicate. He would have short briefed the guys on the importance of being sharp to start with. Yeah, well, Leo Al took his foot off the gas there. That was pretty evident at the end of that game. He'd sort of given up the ghost. Let's just say, I'll say it again. When he's on the defensive, if he's cutting the ball above the service line on an angle which is just going upwards, Sort of Ghost Sellers told him, I can cut those out and, and flip. Out. Two balls from Leo Wow just to round up affairs in that game, floating out of court. Body language, though, as you can see it there. Not much positivity there, no spark in him whatsoever, he looks lost. What do you think, Johnny? What's your gut feeling, apart from a bit of aggravation? What do you reckon? Do you think this is going to go into a fourth? I don't know. I still don't, by the way. Four, yeah, we are showing a bit more, three. but still not convinced that... Uh, he has to prove it over the... Thinking about that, he had that semi-final win, Leo Al, over... Go Sol. And then did he play, was it Yao in the final? I think Yao, the Malaysian, the boy wonder, won the Asian Championships then, got Seven, gold. Four. Here we go, Go Sol finishes up nicely there, straight drop. Been playing them all night long. Thirty minute match there. Surav Gosal overcoming out. Three games to love. For you, as Abba well goes, he just got to try to hit up with more like just extreme pace here or is he uh, also got to just use for me I mean he, he needs to play his natural ga but game but uh, again it's it's a bit like the Tarek moment scenario where it's, it's the error count at the crucial t critical moments I had his opponent trapped in the front corner just put it away oh my goodness that mate looked, that looked really yeah, dodgy <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> that, 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 that looked very dodgy. <laughs> but uh, Kane down the side. And that has activated him into a new level of squash. And he's got Ali Farag feeling very uncomfortable out there. Oh my goodness me. Here a way to finish a ball just it's, it's just a bit extra on the way he finishes it that just goes flatter and, and try to hurry things along it's so fast everything he's doing Farag trying to just sometimes take the sting out of it yeah. 
having a tough time right now. But he's still going back to what what you were saying. If Tremendously difficult to wrong foot Abu Elga. You saw there that flick of Al Ali Farag. One game all. Since that drop that was cut in straight, just had a couple of untimely errors once again. And then add to that some really yeah, good play from Farag as well. Good play from Farag. Very good control. Five three. Side to side work. Hard shot to play. Just very, very well managed. This threatening storm that was developing in the yeah, first it was game. Three love down. And then seven points on the trot. So this is what he can do. And Farag just knew it straight away. So flat. Four seven. It's a loose sort of nothing cross court. It's just dealt with immediately. I think it's a good point from Larry Kazza. What's his second name? Larry Kazza. Kazza. In Canada. Uh, very yeah, solid. Weathering the uh, storm. New ball, yeah. To the box, sort of as if he won the point. to get that up is just somehow oh that drop shot look at this Joey Hand out six three golden touch there of Mr Midas himself bury the ball in the backhand back corner there's that forehand again brilliant just brilliant squash most of these exchanges where he is able to expose Farag in that front forehand. Eight, six. The power on the right leg here. He's gone straight a couple of times. There it is again. That's brilliant. It's absolutely sublime. Forehand front court play from Abu Elga. It's a battle royale going on between these two Egyptians. What a way to cap off. Quick, Johnny. The, the highlights package just needs to be called the Fast and Furious here. <laughs> it's the Fast and Furious. Nate can get onto that because it's not often. I mean, you see squash between the Egyptian players, but they are just. Oh, oh my wow, God. wow, wow. Unreal. <laughs> that is a scandal. And, uh, <laughs> three all. Oh, my off the, goodness. Off the wall, me. if off you the don't mind. Side wall. He tripped and he still managed to hold his balance. <laughs> That's an amazing log. Oh, what, what a finish! Way. Under oh, the circumstances, so well Farrak was front on. He was front on. So front on here. What he had to do, great lob. But Ten look at how front on. That rally needs to be showed in its. In Oh, he's tinned it. He's tinned it. Ali Farag manages to survive. An unbelievable storm of bullets from Abu Elgar. Ali Farag got his bulletproof vest on. And your winner, Peppered. Peppered for five games and he survived. <laughs> wow, what a finale for 68 minutes. Farag survives to fight another day tomorrow. Five game thriller with the bullet.